So, you got a bit of a streak for late goals then over the last couple of weeks. Ipswich, of course, famously. Us, Chelsea as well. Any more? Is it to give you any hope uh, for the rest of the season or should you be turning these points into wins? Um, look, I, I went into... Um, don't get me wrong, I'm disappointed that we didn't beat Ipswich, but Wolves was a complete bonus game for Norwich City. Any Norwich City fan with their head screwed on will tell you that we were... Um, you know, thinking that if we can get anything, anything from this game, it'll be a bonus. Don't get me wrong, though. Having looked at the statistics from our from our game last night, I thought that that, that Norwich did deserve something out of the, out of the game. And um, don't get me wrong, I, I don't think on the basis of the defending we deserved all three points. Um, but yeah, from a Norwich City point of view this season, I'm certainly not disappointed that we're getting draws rather than losses. Mm. Um, I don't think any Norwich fan is is thinking, oh, you know, we should be winning these games. Well, there was a lot of talk on Twitter last night after the game about Norwich from Wolves fans saying they can't believe the position that Norwich are in really because of the way they played and some of the plays that they've got, which we'll come on to in a minute. But let's, we can't ignore the elephant in the room. John Ruddy, his performance last night, is that something that you've become accustomed to as a Norwich fan? or? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tom. Uh, look, it, it's... Uh, it's... I mean, I've said it and been criticised for it. When John Ruddy was um, was leaving, I was like, you know what, brilliant, because it's not. There's no disrespect to John. He was a great servant for Norwich City, but what you'll find is his ability to um, he, he fluffs a lot. He does fluff a lot, and I think he's had his best days. I do think he's a good, solid Championship keeper. I don't think he's good enough for Wolves. I don't think he's good enough in the Premier League, mm. um, in, in my opinion. But don't get me wrong. On his day, he's a good keeper. And the reason why he's been good this season, again, in my opinion, is because he's had a fantastic defence around him. And you could, you've seen just a small dose of what Norwich fans had, but more regularly last season. Yeah, yeah. I think the goal itself, from how far it was out, when he was shaping up to shoot Oliveira, I thought, oh, good. I'm glad that he's shooting for me, because if, if they were taking it further into the box, then something might have happened. But I was quite happy for him to shoot from there. So it was a massive massive disappointment to have conceded like that there's 15 he's been skying them all season as yeah well, well to rub it in of course of Lavera, course he, he wanted he's been skying them all season yeah, well it, it always so happens well, doesn't it? It, it in a in a way i'm quite glad that you know things are normal i'm not dreaming because things like this are still happening because otherwise you know it's been surreal this season so far anyway uh so set piece defending is another thing that I wanted to touch on. We scored from a corner. You then, e uh, well, not equalised. You got a goal back from a free kick from that corner position. Zimmerman, his first goal was in the third Norwich. Um, yeah. Is that a particular weakness of yours? It has been for us. Yeah, we we we, we are bad at defending set pieces. To be honest, I, I think uh, you you saw it against Ipswich. Uh, I mean, Ipswich are actually the best in in the league in terms of scoring mm. set pieces. But I think it is a weakness for Norwich. I mean. We uh, we're doing this zonal marking thing, um, and it's it's okay sometimes. And again, uh, one of the things that a lot of Norwich fans will tell you is our team would do better in the Premier League because mm. our team is adapted and is working as um, as the Premier League side. But in the Championship, we, we're giving yeah. people far too much time um, on, on the ball. We're, we're we're not defending set pieces properly. Um, so yeah, that is a weakness for Nor Norwich City. Mm. Um, but you know what? I am, and I'll say it again. I am genuinely surprised that we got anything from that game, um, mm. and I, I would be slightly worried as a Wolves fan now because you've got Fulham, you've got Fulham coming up, you've got Derby that are still knocking on the door. Yeah. Don't get complacent, boys. Don't get complacent. I think as fans, we are the most cautious because every every single fan of other teams that I've spoken to this season have said, "Oh, you know, you're promoted. It's fine. Don't worry, buddy." True. But we still. <laughs> We've seen us, well, that season that you beat us in the playoffs in 2002, we were 11 points clear with something like six games to go, so we're not taking anything for granted as fans, and hopefully uh, yesterday we taught the, the players a bit of a... Uh, so James Madison, uh, watch, I was watching him very, very closely yesterday because of you pointing him out to me beforehand. Very, very talented. Didn't seem to have a uh, fixed position, more floating in the sort of yeah. attacking yeah. third. Do you think you're going to be able to keep hold of him in the summer? To be honest with you, I think it's going to be extremely difficult. But by, by you know, he's going to be, uh, he's saying a lot of positive things to the press, a lot of positive things to the fans. Mm. Um, 
the way he's playing, it's, it's consistently excellent. You look at his stats, he's in the team of the week again for his performance against you guys. Mm. Um, all his passing stats are ridiculous. His, his ability to consistently um, d- deliver assists and score goals as well. But a lot of people are already putting him in the one-season wonder bracket. Now, mm. that's the only thing that Norwich have got to hold on to is perhaps just to keep his feet on the ground. Mm. I've always overhyped him. And not even overhyped him, I've always hyped him up because I know that the guy's got talent. I know that he's going to be a Premier League player sooner rather than later. Um, look, I think Norwich will do very well to keep him. And, and to be honest with you, I think you guys um, only saw again like a taste of James Madison yesterday. I don't mm. think he was at, um, I don't think he had a 10 out of 10 performance. No, he, I he did. He played very well, don't get yeah. me wrong. But yeah. um, I thought you guys managed to manage to suffocate him, so to speak, uh, enough. Mm. Um, but but still delivered an assist, um, you know. So there you go. Yeah. So yesterday's point put you above Ipswich. Is there any hope for the rest of the season? Well, look. I mean, it's not actually about you know. I, well, Norwich fans don't look at it, don't look at it like that and go, well, we're you know, oh, we're above Ipswich now. Because to be honest with you, we're used to it. We are <laughs> a bit above an Ipswich. We 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 always has been and we yeah. always will be. Yeah. Um, but. You know, it's actually about the next four games for us. We've got the likes of Bolton. We've got to play Forest. We've got to play, I think it's Barnsley or Burton, one of those sides. Um, not Burton, sorry, I've got this completely wrong. But anyway, we've got four sides um, in our next four games that are in the bottom um, half of the table. Norwich have struggled against those teams, but I see us doing quite well against those teams. Um, but again, it's all down to our home form. Can we do it? Will the players be up for it? I think... If we can win the next two games, it is on. Yeah. And everyone has said to me, Chris, you're wrong. Of course we're not going to get playoffs. But you know what? You just never know. There's always a team that sneaks it. And yeah. as a North City fan, my expectation is, as a football club, we should be in and around the playoffs. I, yeah. I don't care what, whether it's a transition season or not. The expectation is there with the money that we've had mm. um, and the ability that, we, that we've got as a football club. Um, it's not it's not arrogance. It's just yeah. that we should be in and around those positions. Uh, just like Wolves. If Wolves don't go up automatically with the money that you've spent, you should be absolutely embarrassed with yourselves, mm. especially uh, in light of how well you've done at the start of the season. Yeah, that's I right. mean, look, but, but but I need to say this about Wolves. Will, Wolves will be fine. You will go up automatically. You will. <laughs> you, will. you will, you will, you will. But, it doesn't matter how many people keep saying that to me. I still will doubt until, know, until it's done. And I respect that massively, but you guys have to um, just bear in mind the fact that you've been consistently excellent all season. Look, mm. you've had one dodgy game against Preston. You've had a bit of bad luck against Norwich. I mean, look, that's just a, that's just the John Ruddy factor. Okay? Yeah. Um, and, and in the Premier League, that won't be there. So mm. don't worry about it. OK, great. We've made me feel a lot better about the yesterday's... Uh game now thanks well thank you for giving us a point i appreciate it <laughs> well you need all the help you can get done you down in mid table <laughs> <laughs> one that one, one last question that i've always wanted yeah, to yeah. ask always wanted to ask somebody from norwich what do you make of the pedestrianization of norwich city center because <laughs> i'm dead uh, against it you're dead against it well yeah. so am i and um, a lot of people, I mean, Norwich is actually the, the fourth slowest city in the UK in terms of average speed. Um, and, you know, I'm dead against it. And, and I'm, I'm a cyclist and I'm dead against it. So, um, yeah, yeah I, th- I think it's an absolute joke. Yeah. There you go, Partridge. Great P- banter. People do forget the access to Dixon's, don't they? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right, thanks really very much, nice Chris. Thanks a lot. Great. Cheers.